Hi, welcome to Getting Started with Widget Online. First, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Symbols, Widget and me. And then we can dive straight into Widget Online. So buckle up and get ready to travel to Planet Widget. First, why Symbols? We're Widget and Symbols are our world. We believe in the power of symbols to support communication and understanding. Widget symbols are used worldwide to help people to realise their full potential, regardless of age, ability or background. We would love you to join our vibrant community of educators, parents and professionals from around the globe. We're connected by our belief in a world where everyone has the right to understand and be understood. A community which shares ideas, resources and inspires each other and one we take great pride in listening to. Follow us on Instagram today. Our handle is at Widget Software. Be part of our growing community and let's make a difference, one resource at a time. So for inspiration, encouragement, fresh ideas and imaginative resources, you know where to go. A little bit about Widget, we have come a long way from our humble beginnings. The simple idea developed as a family has really grown into something that is changing the world for so many people. I've got a short video here that talks about what we do, the settings that we're used in, our staff and the value that we bring. What I am most proud of is that a simple idea that we have developed as a family has grown into something that is really changing the world for so many people. In a lot of special education at the time, it was really about can you look after yourself, can you clothe yourself and wash yourself, and it was really functional. But actually, people want to tell stories. At the moment, I think we have roughly about 20,000 symbols. They're in the health service, they're in special schools, they're in a lot of mainstream schools. I saw them in the Indian project the other day. They're used in sports complexes. They're also used in police custody suites. We've got NHS Plus, speech therapists. We've got so many different types of customers. Not only are we making products that change the world and we're good for our customers, we treat our staff well, we work well with partnerships. We are genuinely doing the right thing all the way through. One of the key ethos of Widget is, is the kindness. I've never worked for an employer. They are so kind and so considerate. They're very flexible, they're very compassionate. The company tries to really engage with its staff. It's, we're not just employees, we're part of the business. I'm working with really good people who are good at what they do and they believe in what they do. They help me to do a job I love, but also have that much needed family time. Just... We want to be able to comfortably do the things that we want to do and do them well. We need to grow, but it has to be growth that is for a purpose, not growth for the sake of growth. We were quite a nice small niche business for a long time, but actually we're getting near 40 people, we're going to be 50 soon. That's why putting in things like B Corps and different progressive policies in place will make a big difference for the future. Because I'd like to make sure anyone that works for Widget has just an amazing life and sees a real value in the things that they do. <laughs> Our symbols are used in settings ranging from nursery schools to dementia care homes, empowering individuals to express themselves independently and aid in comprehension. Our simply drawn colourful symbols illustrate a single concept in a clear and concise way, making learning more inclusive and accessible for everyone. The ever-expanding widget symbol set now contains over 20,000 symbols, covering over 55,000 words. Now, I would like to take you on a journey where we can possibly see the world through the eyes of a non-reader, so we can experience what it might actually feel like. Getting into this mindset can help us understand the emotions, 
frustrations and the feelings that a non-reader may have. So you are going to take part in a test. Can you have a look at this grid and work out the contents? So perhaps you might want to jot down the vocabulary you've worked out. So as and when you understand a word, a whole row, the whole grid, if you make a note of that, I'm going to have an opportunity to have some of my coffee. So I'm going to give you a decent amount of time to complete this task. Okay, so how did you get on? I think I gave you a good amount of time to work out the contents of the grid and understand the vocabulary listed. And how did that make you feel? Were there any feelings or emotions that came up for you? Did you perhaps feel frustrated? You maybe felt a bit anxious or worried, confused. Some people have said that it has made them feel a bit stressed. I know that when I was given this test many years ago, it made me feel a bit panicked, and, but it was a real aha moment for me because it gave me that insight into how non-readers may feel. So the vocabulary on this grid is actually from the exhibits at Swedish Museum. There are some words we recognize like pilot and radar. There are some words we could make a guess at like vindar, and we may be totally wrong. There are other words we could guess at, like mechanica, and we could be right. But most of these words are literally another language that we wouldn't be able to begin to understand. Now, with a symbol support being added, I hope you can see the profound impact that symbols can have on learning experiences. Without symbol support, learners can be left feeling lost, confused, unable to engage, and that can lead to frustration, challenging behaviour, and a lack of confidence. So, how did you feel having seen the same table of foreign words with the symbol support added? You might have felt relieved, calm, clear, I know doing this test was a real breakthrough moment for me. It made me realise by how simply adding that simple support, you can make text accessible for everyone, regardless of reading ability and language barriers. So I hope this test has really demonstrated the power and the impact that symbols can have. A little bit about me. I'm Eleanor, actually means shining light, only found that out recently. I'm the Education Training Associate, lover of lists, as you will find out later in this training, uh, spreadsheets and coffee, not necessarily in that order. I'm hoping to shine a little light on Widget and our software. I've worked for Widget for almost 16 years. I'm really proud to work for Widget, an organisation that is changing the world for the better for so many. A favourite part of my role has always been working at events and talking to you, our users. And our users are at the heart of our organisation, so I am really happy to be in a role working with you again. Um, I have a son, he's actually now nearly three, he's three and three months. He is under a speech and language therapist, physiotherapist, paediatrician and health visitor. He has hypermobility and can't yet stand up. He also has some developmental delays with communication, but he is brilliant with numbers. He can get frustrated, especially when he's struggling to express himself. Um, he may be autistic, so I've only just started the process to see if I can get an assessment. I've recently started using Widget to support him, so I've had great fun making symbol supported labels. We've used them for his different toy boxes. I've used them for the boxes on his shelves for bedding and medical stuff. I found them useful too. Also used them for flashcards, behaviour prompts, and here you can see our sensory regulation. A little bit about you. It would be great to hear what you might be expecting from our software and also from this training. Your wants, needs, ideas, suggestions, thoughts, 
anything that you were hoping to see, hear, understand, get greater clarity on. There's a very short survey at the end of the training and you can pop any of your comments or suggestions in there. We're going to be reviewing our training and potentially creating more sessions on different topics. I'd really love to have your input so I can take that into account when designing more sessions. We want to be able to learn from you. We want to be able to give you the best training experience possible and software that supports you. Software that also motivates, encourages and helps your children to communicate, learn and live a richer life. So together we can do our best to ensure that no one feels left behind. By the end of this training, you'll be able to create personalised, symbol-supported documents, create resources from a template, and create dual language resources. I'm going to be showing you the range of dual language templates available and the choice of over 80 languages you can translate into at the click of a button. You will have learned how to change skin tone, how to customise symbols, how to personalise symbols and how to insert your own photographs. You will easily be able to share and collaborate on resources with colleagues, together building a bank of shared resources. I know learning something new can feel a little overwhelming, but I can send you a follow up email which has a training pack and that sits alongside this. If you email me at Helena at widget.com and that's E-L-E-A-N-O-R at widget, W-I-D-G-I-T dot com, I can send you our training pack, which includes everything you can see on screen. I'm going to be giving you a quick tour of Widget Online. We're going to be going to www widgetonline.com and that's w-i-d-g-i-t so that's i-t for an i-t company that's an easy way to remember it now let's get the show on the road and head straight into widget online so i'm going to log in so my email address and password. Okay, so when we log in on the left hand side, we can see our folder tree. In our folder tree, we have my documents. This is anywhere where you would save resources you've made that are just for you. So it could be for an individual that you're working with. And here we have shared folders. So this is where you would save any resources you've created that may also be useful to your colleagues. If we wanted to create a new folder, we click to choose where we want it to go. So for example, click on my documents, it's highlighted in yellow. New folder, we give that a name and create, and it will appear here. Okay, if we look along the toolbar, we have create. We can create from a blank document, or we can use a template. We have documents. That will always return us to the home screen. Resources will show us the resources included in our subscription. So you might want to go to your widget online and click on resources and see what you have included. Anything that you want to install, you can just click on install resource pack. And then is this something that is only going to be useful to you? If so, click on my documents and install. Much more likely, is this going to be something that is also useful for any of your colleagues? If so, click on shared folders and install. We have help, which takes us to the help centre. And in here we have additional information, step by step guides, video tutorials. Uh, so I'm going to close that and I'm going to click on documents to take us back to the home screen. And the first thing we're going to do is go to create and we're going to look at templates. So in here, our templates are divided up into different categories. So we have flashcards and vocabulary, timetables and planners, literacy support, dual language templates, scales, activities, 
communication, certificates and rewards, display materials and aviary labels. I'm going to start by looking at flashcards and vocabulary. And in here we can see we have portrait flashcards, landscape flashcards, grids, picture and word banks, symbol word cards, photo cards, vocabulary sheets, vocabulary strips and labels. Any of these templates which have a magic wand and the orange stars are custom templates and that means from the outset we can decide on the number of rows and columns. So I'm going to choose custom flashcard and I'm going to have two columns and three rows and create document. A little bit of escapism. I think we all need a bit of escapism sometimes. So I'm going to call this my dream week. And I want to start my dream week looking and feeling fabulous. So that means a trip to the hairdressers. So I am going to type in here hairdresser and the symbol will automatically appear like magic. If we look on the right hand side of the screen, this is our symbol chooser. So in here we can see other symbols we might want to use. So actually I always love a bit of product. So I'm going to choose that. And I don't want to go to just any hairdressers. I want to go to my hairdressers Indigo. They supply me with a constant stream of coffee and they listen to what I want. So I am going to go to change symbol text. I want to keep the symbol but change the text underneath. So change symbol text and I'm going to type in indigo and enter and this is a dream week so i'm going to go wild with my hair okay so i'm going to start by showing you this section of the toolbar which is called symbols so all of the icons in here are for editing the symbols if we hover over an icon it tells us what it does so change symbol text show symbols in color so we can switch between black and white and color Skin tones, we can change the skin tone. We can edit the symbol colors. We can flip the symbol horizontally or vertically. Okay, so I am going to go wild with my hair in this dream week. So I'm gonna to go to the color palette to edit the symbol colors. And here we can click on a color button to change the color or hover over a color button to see which parts of the symbol will be changed. So, yes. Okay, it's looking good. Yes, okay. So I am going to change the symbol text again and I'm going to call this mermaid hair. Okay. And as you probably noticed, we haven't been having great weather recently, so I'm not looking that tanned. So I'm going to go to the skin tone. That's probably more how I'm looking at the moment. Right, what else am I going to do in my dream week? I might go on a day trip to London, uh, go on the London Eye, see Big Ben. So I'm going to go over to my symbol chooser. Okay, that more closely represents what I'm going to be doing. I'm also going to see some friends. So let's have a look over here. I'm going to go to my image library. So if I go to image library, this shows me images I've previously uploaded. Or I can click on upload image and I can choose to upload a new image. I can choose a file that I've got saved on my computer. So I can look for an image I want to include here. I can click on it and open and upload and it will appear in here. I'm going to click on friends. There I am hanging out with my friends, having milkshakes. And I am super excited about my week. There I am might even get a spray tan so by the end of the week I'm hoping to look more like this. Right so what we can do is if we're happy with our resource we can go over here and we can choose to save the current document. We might want to convert it into a pdf so we can save it on the network or email it to someone. We may just want to print it out or if we've made changes to this, if we've made changes to the background colour, the border colour, um, if we wanted square corners, we wanted to change the paper colour, we could then decide to save it as a template if it's something that we may use in the future. So I'm now going to show you the frame section. 
So we can apply changes to a single cell, a couple of cells, a few cells, a whole page or a whole document. And again, if we hover over the icons, we can see what they do. So this says symbol only. That is text below symbol, text above symbol, text only. Okay, I'm going to have the symbol above the text. Here, change the background colour. Change the border colour. Change the border thickness. And do we want rounded or square corners? We could choose to have a drop shadow or not. And if we wanted to show this on an interactive whiteboard, we might want to change the paper colour to avoid any glare. Okay, so if we've made all of those changes before populating, we might want to save this as a template. But now I'm going to add an extra page. We can choose to add a page before or add a page after. So I'm going to click to add a page after. And the next thing I'm going to show you is our restricted symbols. Okay, so we have restricted symbols, which as a default are turned off, and we suggest only turning them on as and when you need them. So if we go to tools and symbol settings, we can find these in more options. So we can see the restricted symbols include human reproduction, psychiatry, drug and substance misuse, and explicit symbols. So just to warn you, in the restricted symbols, there are some which are quite nasty. There are symbols for things like rape and self-harm, but of course there are circumstances where these may be needed. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of examples of the differences between the symbols in the standard set and the restricted symbols. So if I type in poo in our restricted symbols, this is what we would get in the standard symbol set. If I type that in here, with our restricted symbols turned on, we would be able to use this. If I type in here self-harm in our standard set, this is what we would have. If I type that in again, we would have the option of using this with our restricted symbols turned on. So you can clearly see the difference. We're not going to be using the restricted symbols for the remainder of this training, so I am going to go to symbol settings and more options and turn these off. OK, and as you can see, because they're turned off, these symbols have disappeared. Now I'm going to click on the little house to return home. And we're going to go to create again and templates, and we're going to look at our dual language templates. So in here, you can see we have portrait flashcards, landscape flashcards, grids, symbol word cards, vocabulary sheets, vocabulary strips and labels, timetables, mind maps, communication and communication books. And again, you can see there are lots of custom templates with the magic wand and the orange stars. OK, so I'm going to choose a central theme. And you can see here secondary language. So we click here to choose our secondary language. There are over 80 here and any that have the speaker icon, we can also hear spoken out loud too. So I'm going to choose Chinese simplified. I'm going to stick with our dream theme. I need a bit of escapism. So I am going to put here dream man. OK, I'm going to go to my symbol chooser. I prefer that symbol or I might actually add an image. So let's have a look. A little bit retro, a little bit old school, but Michael Schofield from Prison Break. There we go. And why is he my dream man? Well, there's a few reasons. I'm going to put them in here. So let's say he is very moral. He is very kind. He is a man of action, very important. He is creative. He thinks outside the box. And he's clearly very beautiful, so. OK, there are my reasons. So I'm going to drag over and click on translate. So you can see here we have our Chinese simplified along the top. 
and we have our English along the bottom. So we can continue to fill this in. We could go to the frames again and change the background colour, border colours, paper colour. For now, I am going to return home. I've already saved this. So if we go home and we find my saved resource, Dream Man, we can click on View. And here we can hear it spoken out loud. So you can see Click to Speak pops up. And you can see we can do that for all of the cells that we've completed. Okay, and another thing we can do is we can click on direct link and this creates a link that takes us to this resource. So you can send that link to anybody. They don't need to have widget software, they don't need to have a subscription, they don't need to have anything. If you create a resource and you think this is going to be really useful to somebody, it might be useful to a parent, to a carer, to a colleague, a teacher, you can send them that link and anybody is able to open it and view that resource. So that's a really useful feature. But for now, I'm going to return to the home screen. So I'm going to click on documents. And we've looked at templates. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to blank documents. So I'm going to create something to help me. I love a to-do list, absolutely love a to-do list. I've got so many on the table around me um, that I make way too many. And then I consolidate them into a massive master list, but it gets really big and overwhelming and then I break it down again. So I'm going to make something that is going to help me with my to-do list. So I'm going to start with an actual photo of me and my to-do lists. Okay. I want this to be the title though, so I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to go to text only. And I'm going to go to this paragraph section because I want it to be centered. And I'm also going to add in an image of me. So I'm going to go to my image library and I'm going to find a picture of me and my lists. And then I'm going to drop that in in the center. There I am, an actual photo of me and my to-do list. You can see where I clearly need some help. So I'm going to give myself some bullet points and I want them aligned to the left. So I'm going to go to the paragraph section and I'm going to choose to have them aligned to the left. My first tip to myself is going to be coffee. Very important. And I'm going to click and I'm going to drop that in. Although I tend to drink latte, so actually what I might do is I'm going to backspace and delete that. And I'm going to go to our web images. We've looked at finding symbols. We've looked at our image library. We also have web images. And this browses to images provided by Pixabay. So this is similar to Google images, but these are copyright free. They're vetted and there are over 4 million. And all you need to do is type in what you want. There you go. That is a lot of latte. And I'm going to choose one with a heart. That one, I love that one. Okay, drop it in and I'm going to write my first tip to myself. So my first tip is, oh, oh, let's go back there. Let's go to always add drink coffee to your to-do list. That way you can always tick off at least one item. Great tip. Okay, my next tip. I'm going to go to symbols and I'm going to add in a symbol for laundry. So I like that one. I'm going to drop that in underneath. And my second bullet point is going to be always add items you have already done. That way you can feel the satisfaction of crossing them off. Who doesn't do that? That's a great one. 
Okay, I'm liking this so far because we've used this image, which is from my image library. We have used this image, which is from the web images from Pixabay, and we have used a symbol. So I'm going to leave that there for now, and I'm going to show you something else. So in our software, we have something called a smart symbolizer, which means our software can tell the difference between a verb and a noun. Pretty nifty, huh? So I'm going to give you an example. If I type in, I can drink a drink from a can. And we have symbols and text. There you go. Can and can drink, drink. Pretty clever. I'm going to give you another example. I suspect the suspect. OK, pretty cool. So while this is a brilliant feature, we do suggest that you always have a look and check that things have symbolised correctly because there's something else you can do with our software that I'm going to show you. So if I go to Google, um, you can copy and paste into Widget Online. So if I just copy some of this and we paste this in, Let's just paste that in. It will automatically symbolise, but these are song lyrics. It's something that is quite emotive. Is it symbolising correctly? So here comes the sun. So the meaning, what are we trying to say here? We're trying to say, here comes the warmer weather. We wish. Here comes the summer. So we can do better than that. Let's take that out. And I'm going to type in summer and see what symbol we get. Bingo. Okay, that's perfect. So change symbol text. Here comes the sun. Okay, and I say it's all right. So there's no symbol for all right. But we can go up here to symbols, find symbol and type in okay. That's a good one. I'm going to drop that in. Here comes the sun and I say it's all right. So we could continue to work through this. But I'm going to take us back to our presentation and on that note, it is very important to sense check your work. I have a few examples to show you which could have devastating consequences. I'll give you a ring. I saw my boyfriend. So you can see it is always worth checking that the correct meaning is coming across. My personal favourite, seal of approval. And wouldn't it be great if this is actually what it meant? So there are endless possibilities with Widget Online. You can make flashcards, timetables, worksheets, labels, stories to help, games, certificates, literacy supports, dual language, emotion scales, mind maps, diagrams, communication boards, key ring cards, reward charts, plus so much more. So what are you going to create? Okay, now I would really appreciate it if you could get your phone out and scan the QR code so you can give me your valuable feedback. I mentioned that I'm going to be designing new training sessions and it would be brilliant if this could be based around your wants and needs. You, our users, are at the heart of Widget and because of that I would like to hear your thoughts. It would be great if you could let me know how you found the software and the training. I would like to continue to improve training sessions and use your feedback for future sessions. Your suggestions and thoughts will be used constructively and your responses will be kept confidential unless you choose to provide your email address when you give the feedback. So you might want to let me know any suggestions on how the training could be improved or what you found beneficial, what you liked, um, if there are any additional topics you'd like to see in a future training. And if you do have any questions or need any further support, please contact us. We're always very happy to hear from you. So I hope this is enough to get you started. If you have any questions or need any support, please contact us. As I said, we are always happy to hear from you.
Thank you so much for joining me and completing this training session. I would like to give you my seal of approval. I hope you can join me for a future training session. Thank you so much. Goodbye.